Hey everybody, in this video we are talking about the Quaver Composer Light Tool. It's pretty cool. It lets you put notes into Music Staff and it plays it for you. So let's write some music together, get some of your ideas from your earlier lessons, and put them into the Music Staff on Composer Light. So we are going to head to the Quaver Music website. If you need help going to this website, please check out my earlier video. We are going to log in. Quaver Fun 1, Quaver Password, Quaver. We're going to go to the Creatives section. And we're going to click on Composer Light. This is a really neat tool. We've got a piano at the bottom, and we've got some notes in the middle and staff paper at the top. And the whole point is for us to be able to move our notes over to the staff. Now you see these green boxes and red boxes. The green boxes mean that you're putting the note on a beat, and the red boxes mean you're putting it on an off beat. Um, or where eighth notes belong. So we're going to stick our quarter note onto some green boxes here, and I'm just going to stick them in a couple different places. I'm not doing anything in particular here. I'm just putting them into place. And I'm going to go through this first measure and into the second measure. I want to see how this sounds. See how this one got kind of weird? He's a little close, but I can't really help that. So. It's not the perfect tool, but it does a really good job at what we need it to do. There we go. So once it's all filled up, it fixes itself. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's listen to it by hitting the play button. That's nice. Let's try it one more time. And we can change where we put them. We can also stack notes on top of each other. Now in our first lesson today, we looked at short rhythms and long rhythms, or short notes that go into rhythms and long notes that go into the rhythms. All of these are short notes, and they all play the same amount of time, one beat. Let's take a listen to this now. Interesting. So we can also stick some longer sounds. And these are going to take up a longer amount of space. So you see that before I could put four quarter notes in little stacks, but here I've got two half notes in. And I can stack these as well. Let's listen to this. It'll play the first line and then the second line. And you can hear that these take a much longer period of time. Let's clear our music paper and let's put a rhythm down in our um, lesson earlier, we saw a bunch of short sounds, so let's put some eighth notes in here. And the eighth notes can go on the green and the red spots. And we're going to put them next to each other, and then let's switch to some quarter notes. Let's do the same thing. We're going to do four eighth notes. Okay, so here's what happened. I put our eighth note in a red spot. We want, or actually it was a gray spot, so we want to make sure that we put them in the green and then on the reds. 
So just be careful where you're putting them. It might go a little crazy. But if you need to fix it, it's really easy to fix it. You just click and move it. All right, let's take a listen to this new rhythm. Let's try that one more time. So then we can compare it to our really long sounds. So we can have long sounds that go into even shorter sounds. Pretty cool. On your own, I want you to see if you can put the rhythm that we learned in our previous video. It was two quarter notes with four eighth notes. See if you can make your own rhythm using those patterns. So that is Quaver's Composer Lite. It's not the perfect software for writing music, but it's a great place to start it. Give it some practice, give it some time, and I'm sure you're going to see some of your own creations come to life. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time.